welcome back to our lives on the road. We were in Wellington, Kansas, and Oklahoma City, Oklahoma for a while. Let's check out what happened. We had an overnight stop in Arkansas on our way from Memphis to Wellington, Kansas to spend Christmas with our grandparents. They have lots of barn cats that live near their house, so we got to meet them all. When we got there, we went out to dinner at Brahms. They have really good ice cream. And we watched Wonka in the movie theaters. It was so good. On Christmas Eve, our dad's stepbrother came over, so we opened a few presents. We got different kind of bush beans for Granada and Mimi. Emelina made them a calendar with her pretty flower pictures. My dad's stepbrother thoughtfully got us a fruit basket. Then we ate our own Christmas Eve dinner because we had Christmas Day dinner at a relative's house. Later, we went to the Christmas Eve service. Gemma got to be an angel in the Christmas play. It was well done. When we got back, we watched a Christmas story from our projector my dad set up like a movie theater. Christmas Day was very fun. We gave and received presents and spent time together. For dinner, we went over to our relative's house. Mom and Melina made a tree-shaped board. While we were eating, it snowed, so we ended up having a little bit of white Christmas. The day after Christmas, we drove a couple of hours to meet up with our Aunt Stephanie, Uncle Rico, and Cousin Maria. It was snowing while we had lunch. Then we went bowling. We had such a good day. We went to Freddy's for dinner. We met Barb and King the Third there. We go to Freddy's quite a bit when we were in Kansas, and it was very good this time too. We got a small bow at Walmart while we were here. It was fun, but really only the right size for Gemma. We left it here when we departed. We went to this Mexican restaurant in Wellington since we had a gift card. It was really good. It was a short three hour drive to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Granddad and Mimi came with us for a couple days and stayed in a hotel right next to the campground. There's an active oil pump right next to the campground in the middle of town. Right after we got to Oklahoma City, we went to the Capitol. We looked at the museum and at all the artwork in the rotunda. We saw the Senate chamber from the gallery, but we got to go on the floor of the House of Representatives. It's very nice to go to Capitals with Granddad because he is a representative for the state of Kansas. David and I took the opportunity to have a date night while Mimi and Grandad entertained the kids. We went to a highly recommended old school steakhouse called Cattleman's and ended the night at Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill. On Saturday, we went to the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial. The bombing was a terrorist attack in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma on April 19, 1995. It remains the deadliest act of domestic terrorism in the United States. A gigantic homemade bomb was concealed in a rental truck parked outside the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building. The bomb went off at 9.02, killing 168 people, including 19 children, and more than 500 people injured. The gates of time marked 9.01 and 9.03, right before the explosion when there was peace, and right after when people started recovering. The field of empty chairs has 168 lighted chairs that represent those who died. There's also the survivor's wall, which are the only portions of the Mara building left, and the reflection pool. There's a survivor tree as well, which is an American elm which was damaged by the bomb, but survived. I think we all learned something. While looking around, we did the Junior Ranger packets. We went to the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, and there was so much to see. The first exhibit we walked through had a lot of items with leather work that you could actually buy. There were a lot of very cool artifacts. There was an exhibit for Western movies, including the show Gunsmoke, which is a favorite with some of our grandparents. Another part talked about rodeo sports. Have I mentioned that there was a lot to look at? We went outside and looked at some of the interactive stuff out there. Right before the museum closed, we wandered into my favorite part. It was an entire Wild West town 
that was like a movie set, and you can go inside all the buildings. It was super cool. We went to Tess Mexican for dinner. It was good Mexican too. We thought it was very interesting that we could find two good Mexican restaurants in Kansas and Oklahoma. Granddad put the Oklahoma sticker on the trailer and there was a gorgeous sunset. Christmas week was a week of indulgence. Brahms is our absolute favorite ice cream shop nationwide and likely our favorite fast food. It originated from a dairy farm in Oklahoma that produces A2 milk. Their food is grown on their farms, shipped locally only, and at great price. Canelas in Wellington was amazing. I haven't had such good Mexican food in over a year. Never would have thought we would find such good Mexican food in small town Kansas. Thank you, Aunt Christy, for the gift card. And Schlotzky's is David's ultimate favorite sandwich shop, so we had to make it happen. We're glad we got to spend time with our grandparents for Christmas. See you next week on Alice in the Red. Bye!